out here on the homestead. Not only do we raise antennas and twins, but we also have an orchard here, a small orchard, about 120 apple, peach, and a couple pear trees. And when I was taking uh, the wood ash out to dump on the garden area, I noticed something on the apple trees that uh, I don't know, really disturbed me. I was walking back from up there. I looked down and seen this tree. I couldn't figure out what in the world's on this tree. And I got a little closer and see the bark is just destroyed. As you can tell, this tree's probably not going to live. In fact, I'm almost positive it's not going to live. You can see the holes here where voles, not moles, but voles, spelled with a V, have been coming up and just destroying this tree. And unfortunately, we planted these trees about five, six years ago, and they're a combination of dwarf and semi-dwarf trees. And they're just getting to the age uh, that they're producing real well. And of course, these little suckers have taken out about eight to 10 trees. A couple of them I might be able to save, but uh, we've never had problems with them before. I don't know what I did different this year. One thing I know I did was usually I don't let vegetation grow up around these trees. I keep these rows uh, clear for around three feet around the trees. But this year, uh, I was so busy doing the roofing project and other homestead stuff that I didn't get to uh, get sprayed around these and keep it clear. From what I read, that's one thing they like is they like grass and stuff up close to the trees. They'll find the base of the tree and come up and start munching. So I'm uh, it's too late for this tree, but I'm going to set some traps around it and some of the other trees and some of the little trails around here and uh, catch them. I'd like to poison them, but I couldn't find any poison locally that is safe to use around edible fruit trees. So for the time being, we're going to do some trapping and uh, try and annihilate a few of them. Dang vermin. And this tree here, just a nice sized tree just getting up there, you know, about a five inch trunk on it down there and they wiped it out. All my bigger trees, the biggest ones out here, they've just killed them. You know, after spending a lot of hours out here in this orchard working on it, trimming trees, watering, taking care of it, to see this happen just makes you sick. If any of you have any ideas about these little vermin, leave it down in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. Most of the trees they got were either Royal Courts or uh, Northwest Greenings. The Northwest Greenings are kind of an eaten apple. They make good cider though, but the Royal Courts are pretty darn good eating apples. So I'm pretty bummed. I come out here this morning. I mean, it almost ruined my whole day seeing that. Let's set some traps and see what we can do about it. Dirty, rotten, freaking fracking vermin. is their natural predators, the owls and hawks, can't see them. We've had some owls roosting here every night. And I don't think they, through this tall grass, I can see them, so. Yeah, cut the grass. Well, it's the next morning. We're gonna go see if uh, we got any of these little vermin in our traps. You got any there, Daddy? Yep, I got one. What? 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 Another one. Wow. Daddy, 
you, Daddy. Oh. Oh, my God. Yep, here's another one. Another one, huh? And another one. Ah, I don't so well. Daddy, it's your total out for four. No, it's not that the mouth. There's one up here. Yep. Another one. I thought I set one over here somewhere. Oh, you see those holes? Uh huh. I set them right by those holes, and they come out and it snaps them. Before I get started on this uh, this project in the shop today, let's go out and see how the voles are doing. I've uh, cleared those traps three different times, and each time I catch mm, between nine and ten of the little guys. Little guys, little vermin is what they are. If you ever think about uh, coming out and you know having your own homestead, it's one thing you really ought to know is there's a never-ending list of tasks to get done. I don't even see that trap. Man, where'd my traps go? Let me see it. You can see there the damage that these little suckers do. Evidently, they really like apple trees. They haven't touched any of the peach trees. Here's one. Really kind of makes you wonder how many of these things there are out here. There must be hundreds of them. Every time I come out here, I've got uh, most of the traps that have one, have one in them. You know, that's one of those uh, hard lessons learned. You spend countless hours tending these trees, trimming them planting them in a, the whole bit and uh, then to have little vermin get them is just uh, kind of sickening. The good thing is with uh, as many trees as I planted, you know, we'll still have 80 some apple trees. So we'll be okay. Maybe this spring we'll uh, go through a planting video. I'll order some more of these. I don't know if I'll plant apples back or go with peaches. Peaches, uh, if you don't need them, they're really easy to sell at the farmer's market. Apples don't sell, sell as good. And the original intent of these apples was uh, to make hard cider, which uh, I still do, but I was kind of quasi thinking about going into business doing it. And since then, I've kind of changed course a little bit. You might notice we have very little, just little patches of snow here and there. Last year was really abnormal uh, with snow. We had four to five feet, all the fences were covered with snow. And this year, it snows a few inches and it melts right back off. So it's been a really, really mild winter. As I was finishing up uh, editing this, it uh, dawned on me, I didn't do an outro for this video. So here's the outro. I'd appreciate any information anybody has on these little vermin. If you uh, kind of like these homesteading videos, let me know, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. We're always looking for more subscribers. Hey, we'll catch you on the next video.